Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Lawib and Jaffi State and today I am here for class 2 English version. And our subject is math. And our today's topic is what problem? Part 5. Students, I have given four parts in my, in my last videos. You can see them in my, watch them in my channel. So today I am here to give you the last part, part 5. So let's start. So students, now we are in page 94. So here is the word problem. Number, this is the number 5 of the page. In grade 2 of one school, there are 34 boy students and 51 girl students. Which student is more than the other? And how many more? So students, here it is told that in one, in a school of class 2 or grade 2, there are 34 boy students and 51 girl students. So which students is more than another and we have to find how many more. So students, number 1 here, there are girl students 51. So there are boy students 34. As we see, 51 is greater than 34. So we wrote the number of boy students below of below of number of girl students. So next, that is the difference is if we divide 51 minus 34, we get 7 days. How here? If we want, we take it as, as 11. So 11 minus 4, 7. 1 in hand, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Then 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. That is 17 students. So there are more 17 girl students than boys. So student, this is the first word problem. So let's go to our next word problem. So this is the next one. Rohim has 56 chocolates. If he eats 8 chocolates in a day, in how many days will he finish the chocolates? So students, let's see the answer. Number 2 here. 8 chocolates are eaten by him in one day. So we can see we have to find how many days in how many days he can finish the 56 chocolates. So 56 chocolates are eaten by him in 56 divided by 8 days. So that is 7 days. So he will finish the chocolates in 7 days. So student this is the answer of the second word problem. Now let's go to our next word problem. So this is again from page 94. Shumun bought a book of 48 taka and color pens of 36 taka. How much taka did he spend? So students we can see here that he bought a book of 48 taka and color pens of 36 taka. So we have to find how much taka he did spend. So we have to have add the price of these two of books and pens then we can get the answer so let's see the answer but three shumun bought a book of 48 taka then a color pens of 36 taka so 84 taka we have here we have to add this 48 plus 36 that is 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 1 in hand 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 then 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. That is 84 taka. So he spent 84 taka in total. So student, this is the third word problem. Now next, let's go to the next one. So students, this is our fourth question. That is, Savita has been reading a book. If she reading a book, if she reads six pages in a day. How many pages will she read in one week? So students, let's see the answer. We know in one week there are seven days. So in one day, Savita reads six pages. So in one week, she reads six into seven. There are seven because in we know in one week there are seven days. So six into seven pages is equal to 42 pages. Here it is a mistake. It will be 42 pages. So, she will read 42 pages in one week. So, students, let's go to our next word problem. 
So students, here is our next word problem number five. A teacher has 45 pens pieces of black paper. If she gives these papers equally to nine students, how many pieces of paper each student will receive? So, number five, given nine students got 45 pieces of paper. So, one student got, so we have to divide 45 by 9. Then we can get 45 divided by 9 is equal to 5 pieces of paper. So, each student will receive 5 pieces of paper. So, students, this is the fifth word problem. Now, let's go to our next word problem. So, students, now we are in number 6 word problem. Here, the question is, there are 10 mangoes in a basket. If there are 6 baskets, how many mangoes are there in total? So, students, where we can see that in one basket, there are 10 mangoes. So, in, we have to find the number of mangoes in 6 baskets. So, let's see the solution. In one basket, there are 10 mangoes. So, in 6 baskets, there are 10 into 6 mangoes. Here, 10 into 6 because we have to multiply this 10 by 6. That, that is how we can find the number of mangoes in 6 baskets. So, 10 into 6 is equal to 60 mangoes. So, in 6 baskets, there are 60 mangoes in total. So, students, this is the 6th word problem. And now, let's go to our next word problem. So here the question is, this is also from page 94, a family consumed 42 grams of salt on Monday and 32 grams on Tuesday. How many grams of salt did this family use in, two, in these two days? So students, we have to find how many grams of, how much grams of salt the family used in these two days, that is on Monday and Tuesday. So here we can see on Monday they use 42 grams and Tuesday they use 32 grams, 38 grams. So students, let's see our solution. Number 7 here, on Monday the family consumed 42 grams. On Tuesday the family consumed 38 grams. So we have to add this. In total is equal to 80 grams. So this family used 80 grams of salt in two days. So students, this is the seventh question. Now let's go to our last question. So here, this is our two days last question and the eighth question is Nasima bought books for 85 taka. She gave the shopkeeper a 50 taka note and two 20 taka notes. How much did he receive the change? So students, let's see the answer. Right here, Nasima bought books for 85 taka. He gave 50 plus. Here is a mistake. So students, here is the corrected solution. So Nasima gave, she gave 50 plus 20 into 2. Here because if we, there we, it has given that. 220 taka notes. So if we multiply 220 into 2, that is, we get 40 taka note, 40 taka. And here 50 taka note. So that is, she bought book for 85 taka. Then the change will be 90 minus 85 is equal to 5. Because here 0 is equal to 10 here. And 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. 1 in hand. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 9 minus 10 is equal to 0. That is, so, she will receive 5 taka as change. So, student, this is our today's last word problem. So, this is all for today. So, student, that's all for today. If you like my video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, subscribe our channel. So, hope to see you in my next video. So, that's all. Assalamualaikum.